Welcome back. Well, the upcoming general election is not all about the red and yellow. There are some new colors in the mix. The Progressive Empowerment Party, led by Mr. Philip Alexander, is looking to make a dent on the election landscape. Unlike other third parties, the PP has its eyes set on 31 constituencies, including many of the seats considered marginals. Now included in this list is the constituency of Komoto Manzanilla. The party has chosen Anthony Henry as its candidate. Mr. Henry joins us now to tell us why he wants to represent the people of this area. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you this morning? I'm great, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Tell us why you chose the constituency of Komoto Manzanilla. Okay, so before I do, let me just wish all your viewers you know, a pleasant morning. All your all all the members of the constituency, all the candidates. You know, um, I want to tell everybody a special morning and may God bless each and every one of them. Um, my my foray into into politics is it's I think it has become a natural procession. When I say that, I mean, is where I was brought up. I I was brought up to to help. You know, seeing my mother. I'm not, I come I come from a very large family. And um, I see my mom giving away food stuff that I think that we needed more, you know, and, and I could never understand why she's doing it, but it's just the love that she has for people, and that was instilled in us. And um, when I look at what has been happening in, in our country, I, I, I don't see that. I haven't seen that happening, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing hatred and, 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 and things like that, the, all the negatives being spread. And so when I, when I looked at the, at, at the Progressive Empowerment Party and I look at the plans and the policies, what I saw is people caring for people, people wanting to see everybody doing well, doing better. That's why I decided, look, this is what I should be doing to help as much people as I possibly can. Have you tried reaching out to any other political party with the hopes of representing the people of this area under another banner? No, not at all, not at all. Um, because um, from since, well, since independence, really, we, we, we haven't been having, you know, uh, the, the, the type of, I, I haven't seen any, anyone, in all honesty, that, that really has the heart for the people. Everyone speaks a language, but, but, but they, they, there's no action. They, there's nothing to show that, that they really have the heart for the people. So I never had any interest, really, um, in, in, in going with another party. What do you think the people of Komoto Manzanilla need the most right now? What the people of, of Komoto Manzanilla need jobs. Jobs is what they need. And, the, and that's the government's first job. The government's first job should be jobs. The government is the one responsible for, for putting food on people's tables via jobs. If they can do that, then we don't need a government. Why would we need a government if, 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 if they can't help provide? Um, so jobs is, is, is the main important, is the main thing really, what, what will drive anything else. It, it, it'll drive the economy, it'll drive the, the social life, everything. How do you propose to create more employment in that constituency? Well, well the Progressive Employment Party has a very comprehensive agricultural plan. From, from from the ground right right up to, 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 to marketing the, the, the full works and um, that is that that's one of the main 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 plans for 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 the people of the constituency of Komoto Manzilina through the Progressive Empowerment Party. Now in speaking with the UNC's candidate Dr. Rai Ragbir, he also spoke about the issue of infrastructure. Is this something that you have noticed uh, the communities lacking? Oh, oh, well, I, I have always said that Kumoto Manzilena and Toko San Grande are the worst, have the worst roads probably in the world. The, the agricultural sector of, of, of which Kumoto Manzilena and uh, Toko San Grande is, is, is that, that's a main, that's a main drive agriculture. And the access roads is the worst. I, I too, started to do some agriculture in the North Manzanilla area. Uh, so I had to pack my, my van and walk at least a quarter mile. And when rainfall, well, so 
and it was terrible. Just, just so the, 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 the access roads, to, to, to agriculture especially, oh, it's, it's the worst. And, uh, and we know the road, we know that the, in general, the road structure in Antibago are, are not really good. But how do you propose to improve this? Okay, so... Because I make the point that infrastructure is something uh, usually dealt with by central government. So whoever is elected into government, well, the decision lies with them in terms of uh, dispatching resources to solve that problem. So the, the, the central government has the role of, of the major, major roads. Under, on, under Progressive Empowerment Party government, where, where, where we plan to implement a uh, uh, con board of constituency, uh, you know, so, uh, supervisors, board of supervisors, constituency supervisors, we um, will take care, so, the, so, so, so there will be a, a department of works, and, and that department is the one that will be responsible for, for, for roads, especially all those access roads, all the minor roads, the, the major roads, like, like the main roads and so on, that, that, that will be a national thing, but the, 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 all, all those access roads and stuff is, will be taken care of by the, 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 the supervisor in charge of works. And the nice thing about this plan is that there will be no contractors or workers from outside of the constituency that will be able to do works or get contracts in that particular constituency. So, so in Kumuto and Zelena, there's some road works to be done. The only time a, a contractor from outside of that constituency will get it, will get that that contract is if the within the constituency there are no contractors to do so, to do so. Are you and, and, and that's a, that's another way of providing much needed employment for the constituents. Are you seeing that support from people of this area? Pardon me. Are you seeing the support from people of this area, of that particular area? Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I've been getting a whole lot of calls, and uh, well, as we know that, that that this area is was basically a, a, a UNC area, and but people have been telling me for quite a while now they they have been putting up people that is not from the constituency, so they don't know what it is uh, in the, the constituency really needs. They don't feel it. They, they will come and they will look and they, uh, and they are told what the constituency needs, but they don't live it every day, so they don't feel it. So, they, so the passion to really do what is necessary is not there. Do you feel that this election, uh, this for this general election, there's a level playing field? I mean, the red and yellow have dominated over the past for as long as we know. Well, if I understand your, correct, uh, your, your question clearly, um, by, by a level playing field, I would be thinking that, that, that you're asking me about coverage for, 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 for every, every party, everyone that is contesting the election. And my answer will be uh, a, a big no. Because the Progressive Empowerment Party has been on the ground for, for over three years. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing a lot, a lot of stuff. And we have invited in media and so on. But, um, you know, there, there's no, there's, we don't get that uh, exposure that other parties get. Because imagine, ima imagine we, are, we are right now at 31 um, our constituencies with the, that we are contesting in the election. We got a, a little inside small, small coverage on that. There's a party that, mm -hmm. they, that tried to come about, they, they, they pull back because they, they, they don't have the following, they don't have the candidates, and they got front page. So, so it's things, things like that, we, we say it's, it's, it's not a, an, an even playing field. Are you making use of social media to get your messages out there? Well, that's the only place that we have um, be, be, been getting any type of coverage, and they call us the 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 ten pound, the the, the ten ton gorilla on social media. What about your election campaign? How has it been affected by COVID nineteen? Well, well, it hasn't been affected really because um, I haven't stopped, you know, walking around. I haven't stopped being on the phone 
when at the point where we couldn't really interact with anybody, my phone uh, has been has been big, and social media has been my main source of, of, of communication with constituents, with friends, with family, with well wishers, you know. And and I've I've been on detail with with, 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 with calls and and things like that, people who want to help and stuff like that. All right, so Mr. Henry, I am going to give you the final word. What would you like? the people of Komoto Manzanilla to take into consideration going into this year's general election. What will be your message to them? Well, my message will be, let us not look at race. That is, in my opinion, is a hindrance. We in the Progressive Empowerment Party, our color is orange. It's orange because red and yellow mix orange. We say, meet us in the middle. Let us, let us not put Carry, keep carrying on that hatred because it's getting us nowhere. The, the, the parties that was in office before haven't done anything. What plans and policies have they brought forward to, to impact positively, not only in the constituency, but in the country at large? Not much. The Progressive Empowerment Party, we have put out a 21 point policy and, 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 and having, having read and, and understand that and explain that to people, uh, they, that is what is needed, and we wish we are, we are just hoping that the, the, that during this period from now till the tenth on election day, that enough people see and hear our policies and understand, listen to us, and hear what we are about. We are we we are not about the the, the, the mega contractors. We are, we are not about the the, the, the big financiers getting the, the, the biggest part of the pie and and the scrums going to the to, to the citizens. That's not what we are about. We are about everyone getting an equal share of the pie. That is would, would be my would be my work to, to, to them. And so we be the, the Progressive Empowerment Party. We are a, we, we are a national party. It's, it's, it's not fly by net. It's been four years in the making. So so I am asking and inviting everybody to, to you know to come on board. We are one people under one flag. We are we are putting a message out. It's up to the people. Now you hear it. It's up to them to do what they want with it. I, I, I am just. I can just ask and implore every one of, 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 of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago to get a government that, that that we finally really deserve. Someone who will take the country forward. All right. The only government. Thank you so much, Mr. Henry. We are out of time, but we really do appreciate uh, your input on this morning's show. Thank Best you for having me. Thanks for your management and staff. Thank you very much. God bless. All right, so that was Mr. Anthony Henry. He's the PP's candidate for the constituency of Komoto Manzanilla. All right, so it's at this time we pause for a short break, but coming up next, we have the 7 o'clock news. And on the other side, we have much more in store for you.